Well, who's ready to be seduced by the love language of Belgium? Which I, I guess would be French, Dutch, and German. <laughs> you know, German, the sexiest sounding language out there. Well, on today's episode of JC Van Damn It, we are watching Knock Off. You remember when Judge Dredd was like, hey, put Rob Schneider in it, it'll be better. Well, they tried it here, and, uh... Oh, well, let's just say it's no Judge Dredd. It's not good. It's not good at all. But it is just good enough for me because this is Red Eye Reviews. All right. Firstly, I have zero trivia. (laughs) I tried. I looked it up. All I could find is that they edited the shit out of this movie, which, you know, what else is new? Uh, and that Jet Lee was supposed to be in it, but he could smell the movie through the phone and said, uh, no, thank you. So he turned it down to do Lethal Weapon 4, which in my opinion is a much better movie. We start with some dudes underwater. I think this is a record for a fastest movie to say its own name, maybe 30 seconds in. I don't know. It's got to be up there. You know, if I had to guess what I thought was in that crate, uh, that was not it. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. But it does turn out these baby dolls were bombs. So all hell breaks loose. There's so much fire and stuff. Uh, It's all very exciting. Hacker! Hack, report that guy. He's using hacks, please. Sniper headshot from a moving boat? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, get good at the game, scrub. (laughs) Well, we cut from whatever that was to Rob Schneider. Uh, the man, the myth, the sexiest woman alive. Aquariums make me super horny. That's not funny. He is putting together a fashion show for his jeans company. Work with me. Your models look bitchy. Look like you haven't eaten in a week. We cut from him over to his partner, Marcus. I don't know the lyrics to the song, but I'll pretend I do. Ray. He goes to the shipping warehouse to see his jeans, and while there, meets a few old friends who are all in the knockoff product business. You're in the toy business now, Skinny. I thought you were too big for that. So him and his friends get together to do this, like, rickshaw race. They do it every year. I don't, they're not rickshaw drivers. I don't know what's going on. But Rob Schneider gives Marcus uh, these knockoff Pumas with two M's, so, you know, it's not going to be great. It doesn't matter what you-, you know what? Not enough movies do the whole foot into the shoe camera angle. Hey, I didn't go to film school, but you can put this up there right with the Hitchcock dolly zoom. It's amazing. Okay, I, I don't want to call any of these guys out, you know, but uh, this guy found a great loophole. Somebody one-up him. Find a newborn baby. It'll shave a few pounds. But the race carries on. We get all kinds of twists and all kinds of turns. All right, that's pretty cool. That's It's very Jackie Chan of you, and I dig it. However, near the end of the race, our guy swaps out with another dude and a kid, which, yeah, I get close enough. All right, I guess no one's going to look at him closely. But then this van swoops up to kidnap the real guy. It's not him. So what? Yeah, wrong guy. Uh, Lucky for the first guy. You know, not so lucky for this guy, but say la vie. The shots in this movie are... Uh, they're, they're just lovely stuff. <laughs> they're just great. All right. Uh, I think I'm starting to see a theme here, but 
yeah, someone was on drugs. That's what it was. Uh, they get into a fight in the grocery store. If you can really tell what's happening, good for you. I can't. People are fighting. I think that's all we can really tell. No sudden moves. Uh, I got her. Oh, good job, Rob. You make me so happy. Get it? Like miso? It's soup? It's can. It's a can. However, a number of questions remain. You say you are innocent participants in this rickshaw race. We've identified this man. Now, I take myself very seriously. Can't you hear my voice? And we know where you live. You're released on your own recognizance. This investigation isn't over. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm also serious. This is how police officers talk. But on the way out of the police station, they run into Karen Lee, who's an executive from their jeans company. Okay, they're knockoffs. Exactly. What? They're knockoff artists in Hong Kong? Yeah, they, they learned that somebody's out there knocking off their jeans. Yes, prison, gentlemen. You see, counterfeiting happens to be a federal crime. 6.30. Be there. All right. That's, that's a camera angle. Uh, this... It's not good. This movie's not good. (laughs) But the two, they go, they talk. At one point, Rob walks away for a bit. JC gets a little worried, you know? So he follows after him. Stay out of it! Get your ass back in there! You're in big trouble! This is like when you walk into a restricted area in a video game. (laughs) Stay out of it! You don't belong in here! He heads to the roof. He sees Rob talking to some suits. And as it turns out, our boy works for the CIA. Whoever you are, you were supposed to make me legit. It was a need-to-know basis, and you didn't need to know! You lied to me! I've been carrying you for four years! Uh, it's kind of like they're both trying to be the worst actor in the scene, and simultaneously they're both winning somehow. We're supposed to raid a factory tonight. What? Shit! All right, I figured it out. The cinematographer is some student. He's fresh out of film school. He's got big ideas. So yeah, the CIA is here to stop terrorists that have those little bombs. And that lady is here about fake jeans. And JC's here. He's upset, you know, but he still goes with them to raid a factory to check on those counterfeit jeans. We're raiding. Eddie Wang signed it. It still doesn't prove he's a knockout artist. You can really tell they're in a car by how much it shakes back and forth. Because this is what cars do. However, before they can really check out the warehouse, this truck comes barreling through the wall, causes complete havoc. You know this was expensive to shoot, but you can't tell. Because the editor, I think he got into Van Damme's trailer at some point and just snorted all of his supply. However, we fight on the roof of that truck. All right, firstly, how did that happen? But we can't even think about that because somehow the sign falls off the truck and it goes backwards. All right, uh, let's all take a deep breath. We're going to get through this together. So we see all these little tacks, right? We immediately assume they're explosives. Rob and JC take them to the CIA base, which where is it? Well, inside a giant Buddha statue. <laughs> of course it is. Hey, what's the cover charge? Sorry. You want to tell me what it is you want? Uh, you want to tell me what that little hoop stick thing you just waved all over the place is? It's the Green Flame Project, 1989. Why would they put his hand into that animation demo? Why? What does that add? What do you want me to do about Eddie? Bring Eddie in. It's a nanobomb. He wouldn't be carrying it around like a cough drop. They have a remote control detonation device. No. Address the thing in the room. What, you buy a veggie platter from Costco? Who are you trying to kid here, pal? We, we, we both know you're not going to eat that. But the group talks it out. They think that that cheating rickshaw racer could somehow be in on the counterfeiting. So they go and chat with him. My mother always loved that record. Bam! (laughs) You were knocking off our jeans. Come on, Ray! Okay, 
<laughs> I've never stopped a movie before. I haven't. All those Seagal movies, the Godfrey Ho, I've made it through. Somehow I made it through. But I need a break. I, I need a break. I'm going to go finish this movie later after I've had, like, a lot of drinks. Two hours later. All right. I have a mega pint of wine. I'm ready to go. I've got something for you in the safe. Hold on. I'm not sure if it's the wine or the movie actually got better, but I like it. I like it now. Don't you know the way out of here? No idea. But that guy's boys suspect that we killed him, even though it was like the rocket safe that did it. But naturally, we run away. I also decided not to show you this crazy long fight. Uh, I'm just going to show you every part that has a durian fruit in it. There's a lot more than you guys thought I'd show you, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of durian fruit in this movie. And besides the fruit, somehow a scooter was in the mix of boxes. We used that to help get us out of here. And then after this, JC thinks that the rickshaw guy was killed by that big boy at the beginning who sells toys. So we go after him. We fight his boys. We kid. Well, we take him. I, I don't know if you can kidnap a guy like him. I don't think that's the appropriate terminology there, but we take him. We go back to Buddha Base headquarters, where uh, it appears that guy finished his veggie tray, or more likely he threw it away is probably what happened. All right, this Game of Thrones green fire shit is getting out of hand. It's too much. Calm down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He goes back to check on Rob. We see that that lady was also a spy. Because everybody's a spy. Double crossing. All the crosses are all crossed. You guys ever watch the TV show Chuck? And like after 10 seasons, his whole family turned out to be spies. Anyways. No, it's real. Check it. Why does it feel like the editor has short-term memory loss and like forgot what he was doing every 10 seconds? Hi, I'm Tom. Henry. Marlon. Doug. Lucy. Hi. Dang Hi, I'm Tom. Huh? While there, these guys bust in. They take Rob. They take the girl. Jean-Claude realizes that those tiny little bombs are also in the buttons of his clothing. So he gets naked. Not fully naked. Not here. There. It's not fully naked. It's just like that. But then he heads off to save his friends. Can I die low, please? Come on, man. After 20 years, why? Entrepreneurship, baby cakes. Okay, so Rob is a liar turned CIA. The lady is a liar turned CIA. And the CIA is a bad guy? So who are these guys now? Or is everybody bad? Is that crate full of popcorn or like chips? Oh, oh, shoot. I have chips. Hold on. Wait a second. Okay. I'm back with a snack. Just uh, I'll give you guys some ASMR real quick. Yeah. You, you like that? Okay. Sorry. All right. We're starting to slow down a bit. Basically, everybody fought for like a stupidly long amount of time. It's so long. It's very short. It's very boring. But just as the CIA bad guy goes to get away and blow up the boat, the lady CIA throws some bombs at him. <laughs> Take that. Are you okay? What are you looking for? Johansson. In these two nights, when the world watches as Hong Kong, Korea Harbor lights up with the first fireworks starting. Wait, is he not dead? 
There's only one man I know that pretends to eat that many vegetables. He's alive. Sometimes just before. Or not. He's dead. He's dead now. The movie's over. Good God. Knock off. Uh, the movie was a knockoff of like a good movie. Yeah. Uh, let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. This is Vanilla Cream. I gotta tell you though, she's she's a phony. Hey, don't talk shit about Vanilla Cream. She's doing her best. Now here's just a bunch of stuff I thought was weird, and I took it way out of context. <laughs> Who's next? Tank is a beverage. I thought it was Tank. That's another beverage. Right? Those jeans <laughs> are the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Executed. What did you say? Executed. Uh, You've been on both sides. Uh, right, Skinny? You bastard. <laughs> I must never eat the threesomes! Damn it! That is everything. If you watch this, have a mega pint ready. It makes it so much better. <laughs> uh, maybe some salt and vinegar chips, but hey. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video itself, leave some comments. A huge shout out to the patrons if you want the power to vote on future movie reviews. You can head on over to the Patreon page and sign up there to do so. That link... That was my dog. That link is found down below. As always, a huge shout out to the patrons. You all are amazing. You're currently voting on a movie I'm very excited for, and I can't wait to share it with the rest of you. If you want to join the Discord community, that link down below, and the merch store link found down below. I'm going to go chug a huge thing of water before I go to bed, and I will see you next time. But until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Yeah, you, you like that? Okay, sorry. <laughs>